What's up, everyone? This is it. This is the final episode of my Resident Evil 3 playthrough. Game was fun, and I will definitely be going back to it later. Uh, one thing I could say is I wish it was longer, but can't really complain about much more than that. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you want to catch my stream, come over to Twitch Monday through Sunday, 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and hang out. If you enjoyed the vids here, you'll definitely enjoy the stream. Thanks for watching. No one in the hospital ever noticed all this. are a little high and that's what the clicking thing is just dropping them down Where are we? To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm, gather fuses from the sub-generators situated around the warehouse, and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. All right, so... Warehouse needs those to restore the power from in general. All right. So I got more room. Got high grade. I don't have any other high grade items here. No, let's just store it. I have a feeling I'm going to need the extra space for whatever's coming. Okay. Man, 40 saves. Wow. Can you say worried much? Ah, it's Nikolai and a bunch of dead people. Zombies, probably. Is this a Nikolai battle? That'd be interesting. Hmm. I don't think I have any other explosives, do I? I don't think I do. Let me just check. Anything else? I can't mix those with that. Hmm. 
Maybe there'll be more when uh, I jump down there, I'm guessing. I mean, I don't see any. He seems very concerned and upset. That's gunpowder. All right, well, let's just go down. Nothing else. All right. Can't operate that. So we gotta deal with the zombies. The fuses. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. Oh, you think this is over? Okay, can't do anything with that. What the hell kind of zombie is that? Oh, it. Okay, I don't think I can do anything with that. And I can't get up. I don't want anything that you're selling, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya, buddy. We need three fuses. Let's get some of those and some of those. All right, switch to the shoddy just because I need to use up that one shell. What kind of zombies are these? Nothing else. Son of a puppy dog. The hell was that? The grudge? Okay, that gets operated. Go away. Oh, a dead end. No, wait. I mean, it's tempting to grab that, but I got plenty of first aid sprays. What I want. Was it not over here? I guess not. I hear that doll. Ah, there he is. Nope. Yeah. Ah, there's the gunpowder. I don't think it's a heavy gunpowder, though. Let's see where these go to. What? Okay. Good. Running. All right. So we got access to here at least. So if I need to, I can run back down there and get that health spray. Son of a! Didn't expect him to be standing right there. 
employee memos. Admitted to N2, male 45, female 32, discarded male 60, female 89. What the heck is... Ooh, creepy. No, I need to go. Is this a door? Ah, this is where we get the gunpowder. Anything else? Oh, there's a fuse. And a freaking hunter. Oh, that was close. Oh, my heart skipped a little bit there. What sucks is I do want to get that red herb now. So I am kind of hurt, and this zombie is going to be... Okay, he's over there. Good zombie. Oh, I can't take it off. That's right. Red herbs, no. Let's use it. Man. I'm gonna need to make some more shotgun ammo soon here. I did want to make high powered rounds but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm just going to mix this with uh... yeah I got no more all right where's that fuse oh no I took out health that's right all right last fuse Not wanting to do all this again. I got 44 saves. All right. There's the high grade one. Darn it. Should have waited, and I overwrote my save. Okay, so I need to. Something's gonna come. Back up, girl. Back up. We need to go drop this back off. Because I'm taking way too much crap with me. But paranoia. No, what sucks is I keep wasting shotgun rounds on this thing. Wow. What the hell are those things? Okay, that was a little weird. Not gonna lie. I 
I think I don't need my stupid. Don't think I need the uh, handgun anymore. Yeah, let's uh, let's just store it. I'll take whatever's left in the magazine here, and that's that. Okay. This stupid thing. Won't die. Right. Damn it, he's right there. What's this one do? Takes us down. Oh. So, what, faster reload? Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, that. Will that just lower it and raise it? Yeah, okay. No, I can't put it back down once I'm up here. There's going to be a hunter here for sure. Yeah, hunter. What do I got in here? I got explosive rounds. Okay. Seems like pull the fuse. Mother. Son of a. It's a gamma. Damn it. Okay, that was annoying. Freaking Gamma. What kind, what do I have in here? Explosive rounds. Four explosive rounds. They're sensitive to flame, so let's put the flame rounds in. Okay. any grenades other than my grenade launcher I gotta take out the gamma first so I'm gonna run towards him get him to open his mouth and just flame him and then I'll focus on the zombies Yeah, alright, 
that shit down there. First you don't succeed, try, try again. I would actually probably prefer a hunter to a gamma. Come on. Come on. Run. Why you gotta cower? Burn, baby. Anything extra? Ooh, baby. Yeah, you do. Nice. I don't have any room for anything else. Let's go check the other container. I don't know if I... Yeah, I wasn't fully healed. Okay. It's probably meet all sorts of critters on the way back. Yeah, I don't have any other large count ones. Uh, let's actually put the grenade launcher rounds back in. Here goes. Even though there might be gammas on the way back. Like in those things. You still gotta be up, dude. Alright, anything else I need in here? Just in case. that guy down there. Where were the fuses? Oh yeah, right over there on the left. Run, girl. Zombies coming. Son of a... Wrong button. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm dead. He's still alive? Dang. Stay down there, little white freaking zombie. Jesus. Well, at least he's just crawling now. He took a grenade launcher to the back. Shit, he got away. Yeah. You have gone for an hour. Here? Okay. 
I wish I could find more more ammo. I know I could have made it, but uh, yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Shotgun seems to be a little bit more reliable in that department. Man, I am running. I am running low. Let's save. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC disturbances as sporadic. Commencing mission. Observe five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university diverted pack, including canines to campus. 64% infection. Conversion in two hours. No survivors. Dang. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack towards command post. Result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skirmish. Seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking and per orders. Appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars. A male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. I wonder if that's Mikhail. Mikhail. Bioweapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N. Investigating observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted? Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. Video attached. JV has been affected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Ooh. Over 17 hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO. Carlos, a soldier in an MV platoon. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. Seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Ah, so that's what he is now in this one. He is pushing for the nemesis changes and encounters. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Tyrell doesn't look too good. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Yeah, she's very trusting of Tyrell. I wouldn't be. You sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Yeah, you're gonna bite my back. She's lucky that door flew down. Uh, 
Man, I keep expecting the game to almost be done, and it keeps going on. Like, I'm kind of wishing I had grabbed that uh, red herb now. Nest 2 employee regulations. Attention, Nest 2 employees. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and inter introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail, in particular unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe dis ah, can't talk tongue-tied, disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, I got a map. Nice. Sterilization room, machine room. Okay, well that's floor one. Man, I thought I was going to be done with this tonight. It does not look to be the case. Wow, I'm uh, running very low on items. This ain't good. I gotta be very, very careful now with my gear. That's a zombie. Oh, I used the... <sighs> I'm used to using my pistol. Right up Main Street. Shotgun shells. Hear it. The heck? Ah, there he is. Barely. Nope. Wow. I don't think you're going to be able to. There we go. We don't want the big boy. Ooh, good, more high grade. I'll make some more magnum ammo. Awesome. You don't get up. You're just gonna. You're gonna stay right there. No funny business from you. He didn't look like a uh, zombie model. That one over there, I have a stinking suspicion. To begin vaccine synthesis, 
Place the materials in the chamber. Oh, okay. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Yep. Alright, gotta figure this out. So it's on the rules of antigens and what? Adjuvants? I don't know. And vaccine synthesis. Uh, ooh, Nathaniel Barr, the a-hole. To most efficiently synth synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant. I'm going to just say that. I require it. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant... Adju I, whatever, I'm butchering it. Increases the effects of such responses, leading to an increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create... A potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a large batch of, batch of vaccine can be created with an astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and blah 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 samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Hmm. Anything else for me? Yeah, the researchers don't have that zombie model to them. Ah. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. Hmm. Okay. Nice. This is our key to everything. So we gotta bring the stuff back. Yeah, so we got the override key. I think there was a... You weren't dead. Okay, there was nothing extra in here in these rooms you can't get into. Anything else in here, but if not, we got some goodies to get up here. High grade takeout. We are making magnum rounds. Yes. All right, two shotgun rounds. And the first aid. I feel like carrying two first aid items is a little much. We're gonna do that. So we got three room, three spaces. Okay. And you can't get into any of this stuff. Ah, this is the door. Do I get the key back? Nope. One time use. Ah, son of a... You got one of those things. Yeah, a couple things in here. Oh, I hate these things. Man, what the heck is all... Quite a few of them, aren't there? Is there anything down there? A uh, herb? Probably something important I need. Q. 
curative culture sample. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this vaccine. Man. I need a uh, three. This is gonna suck. So I got. Oh, note. Weapon reauthorization request. Dr. Emerson. I would like to formally request that the weaponry, weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees in, interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutagen, granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as paleheads. Uh, I've been experiencing them. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific case has not been yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these paleheads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully un underprepared to defend ourselves. Yeah, what's the weapon? For this reason, I would like to request a high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pal has be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabriel Reed. Well, Gabriel. Where is the high-powered weaponry? I would very much like the high-powered weaponry. Just saying. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I messed up something on my OBS. <laughs> ah, I hate these stupid zombies. Ah, son of a... Oh my god. Run, go, go! No! I dodged. I dodged. You were supposed to dodge. Zombie. Alright, I am running out of space quickly. Let's just combine it. All right. I think I'm gonna have to run back through that room too, which kind of sucks. Oh, there's a box there. Hopefully this is the weapon. This must be what powers it. Hi, dude. Bye, dude. Ah, oh, first aid spray. Alright, well, we're loaded up on health. Jesus. Oh, good lord. Jesus. Is this where they're made? Well, we definitely got a lot of Flame rounds. Let's go with those. 
These are tyrants. Really messed up looking tyrants at that. And those are definitely hunters. I hope just die. Wow. Are they like failed growths? Like they're all sorts of deformed. They don't look like and what is this thing? Can't tell what that is. Ah, son of a... He's coming in. I don't have room for it. Um, wonder if I can flame around him. Nope. They regenerate quickly. Let's read this. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism to a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must empathic. No. I can't talk. Empathetic. I can't speak. You know the word. My tongue can't say it. State my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy by turning to the use of parasites. You are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like plasma, plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is other folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. So it's called a nemesis. You're still up, huh? That's all I hope. That's hope. That's all I need. It's just the two samples there. All right. Let's see here. Examine. And then examine this. All right. This was T virus sample. All right. Let's just head back.
Something's gonna break free. Something has to break free. Oh, I've reloaded my, uh... Let's just go with the grenades. Run, girly. Yeah, called that. Oh, two of them remained? How, how nice. Oh yeah, they go over here. Oh yeah, yay. Acid rounds. So I got flame rounds loaded in now. Got the acid rounds, plenty of health, got these and that. Okay, I'm a shotgun ammo, 27. Go, 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 go. Jesus. Oh, my Lord. That was a little much. Okay, uh... No, those were not aliens. Those are human beings that have mutated so much from the virus that they have become unstoppable. They just keep regenning. They call them pale heads. All right, I'm loaded up. I'm good to go. Okay, I don't know. Oh. Too high. Okay, let's try. I hate the test ones. Okay, too high, low. Mid. Oh, too much. I need to keep it in the green. All right, so let's go low. That's too much. Oh, medium, medium. There we go. Two mediums and two middles and one left. Please remove the vaccine canister. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
That probably hurt. Probably gonna get more pale heads here. Of rounds, man, it's gearing up for war. All right, do I want shotgun shells or do I want magnum rounds? I don't think I should carry around this pistol anymore, honestly. I got a lot of shotgun. I think it's just getting a bit in the way of all my inventory. So I mean like, I got plenty of these, I got plenty of shotgun. Let's, uh, let's ditch the pistol. And let's get, I need another first aid spray. I'll grab this one. Okay, we're loaded up. Got one space. All right, 27. Actually, we got more than that. Plenty of shotgun shells, 40, something ish, plenty of these. What's in here right now? No, I didn't want to switch. I wanted to. There we go. Load up six shells. All right. So, acid, yeah, we are good. We're gold. Disposal center. I'm still looking for that weapon and that can kill the pale heads. This facility is to be used for the dissolution and disposal of test subjects used in nest 2 experiments. The potent sullivans used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. Okay, this should be interesting. What in God's name is this place? This is hell. Oh, wow, we got a lot of flame rounds coming in. Good lord. You know what? Um, no, don't center. Darn it. Let's try and take a screenshot of this. And too bad my, uh, actually, let's see if that's, oh, that's working now. I can just screenshot it this way. Screenshot. Screenshot. That's how I get my thumbnails, by the way. You asked that uh, for my YouTube videos. I take screenshots of things. And then I edit them with Photoshop. 
by editing, I just add a title. I'm not... Uh-oh. Hungry boy's coming. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dark. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Where the hell is Carlos? Alright, so the tanks... Ow. That was cheap. Say those open up. Oh, what's this? No, I dodged. I dodged. I'm dead. Darn it. No, I don't need handgun rounds. Let's, uh... Discard, yeah. Because I don't have a handgun. Son of a... Biscuit, get out of here! Is there anything else around here? Come on. It went between his legs. No, 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 no. I'm about to die here. I can't dodge. I suck. I want to say these things... Alright, getting a handgun would have been beneficial for in here. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so... Is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let yeah, that's what I'm you. thinking. Get the zoomies. Good idea. Yeah, I should have brought the handgun. What the? I got one more healing thing and I'm done.
Alright, he's got the zoomies. Here comes some more. Number two. Darn it. No, give me. No, no. Hold on. Got on your right. Darn it. I'm He's angry. Why? Where did you go? Wow. <laughs> I have to get that vaccine back. It's <laughs> pretty much dead there. Went through all of my ammo. <laughs> all right, let's read this weapon spec sheet. Ooh. Ferromagnetic infantry use, next generation railgun. Development code name Finger. <laughs> Chief developer Nest2, lead research Cornell Garner, assisting developers, United States Army. Ammo caliber 60 millimeter, muzzle velocity 6,000 meters per second. So we got suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Extreme firepower provides a secondary benefit of completely obliterating. Oblib ah, there goes my tongue again. Obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This thing's totally rad. Tyrants out of line. Just give him the finger and problem solved. Packs of firepower we need. Requires multiple power sources. Uh oh. Yeah, it's gonna be like the uh, actual game. All right. Well, handgun, you're coming back out because I need you. I need you. I don't have any use for you. Jeez, man. 
<sighs> Gonna be the, uh... Yeah, do I need to reload this? I think I do. I have one round left. Oh god, my, uh... My grenade launcher. No pale heads, please. Ooh, wow. Look at that gun. That's the rail gun. And that's all the power sources. They're probably gonna get unplugged and have to run over and plug them back in. Uh, it's gonna be a, a long battle here. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You, Prince Mark. I like that. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Nemesis. 3.0. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Jill! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Yeah. Look, <laughs> just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Alright. Railgun. Opening compartment. Now we're done. Um, where am I aiming here? Oh, and I gotta repower it. Yep. Knew it. Damn, it needs power. You stay there. I'm gonna push this in. Just ignore me. Come on, dude. Oh, he actually killed me. I should have healed. <laughs> uh, That's my first time actually dying from a boss battle in this game. That was my first boss battle death. I got all a bunch of health. All right, skip. Skip the lead. So we got healing stuff over there. I don't think it matters where I fire, actually. All right, we know what happens. Push it. Nope. Okay. How badly am I injured? Uh... Son of a... Run! One, two, 
Too close. Let's just keep healing. Okay. Watch out for those hands. I'm guessing I have to do this maybe two times. That'll be my guess. All power sources activated. Power you think up. I don't know how to fuck you up? What I think I'm gonna do is knock him back down again. Knock him back down and then uh Oh! Then shoot them. I am sick of your shit. I'm going to put it in his mouth. <laughs> Man, happy I brought the handgun. <laughs> Alright, nothing left. Let's get out of here. Ooh, I wonder if I can climb up. Wait, I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to go is climb up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mess. Let's find Nikolai. Always check, run around, make sure there's nothing extra to shoot or get. There probably was and I missed it. Probably a Charlie doll somewhere out there. Oh, I can still catch him. Do this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no, don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched, and that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. <laughs> Hey, I 
told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. I mean, he was shot in the heart anyway. Or close to it. He should be dying soon. Finally over. So long, Marcy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making virus, it was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Jeez, 52 saves. 16 deaths. Total playtime, 6 hours, but clear time it says 5 hours. So I wonder what the difference in that is. I gotta see.